Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Harsha Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to explain you two topics which are frequently asked in examination. First of all, it will ask you what are the limitations of financial accounting? And second, what are the differences between financial accounting and cost accounting? So watch the video till the end to get the complete knowledge on these two questions. Now, uh, first of all, I'm going to explain you about what are the limitations of financial accounting. The oldest form of accounting is financial accounting. And still it is widely applied throughout the world in order to prepare the financial statements. But these financial statements have their own drawbacks, limitations, due to which other forms of accounting has been started, like cost accounting, management accounting, inflation accounting, responsibility accounting, so many different types of accounting has been started. So what are the limitations of financial accounting? Before going ahead, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain all the points in detail. First of all, the limitations of financial accounting. The first limitation is historical information. Financial accounting is called a post-mortem accounting because whatever had happened in the last, last year that will be recorded. That means first a transaction will take place, then we record the entry in the books of accounts. So whatever had happened in the past that will be recorded in financial accounting. Right? But the management does not require information only about the past. The management requires information even about the future. Estimations, predictions, projections, these are the things management require. But uh, financial accounting will fail. It will provide only the past information, historical information. Second, no classification of information. The information is not classified. The financial accounting is made only to ascertain the end result of the operations. That means end of the year we have to find out whether profit is there or loss is there. What is the financial position as on a particular date. From that point of view, the accounting is maintained. So no detailed classification. It is concerned with ascertainment of profit or loss of the business as a whole. They reveal the overall trading results for a period and the financial position on a particular date. They merely show the result of collective activities of the business. No detailed information is provided. So collective activity, activity, the whole year, during the whole year, the business has earned profit or incurred loss. That's all. Detailed information will not be provided by financial accounting. No standards. There are no norms or standards through which we can be able to compare whether whatever we have planned, are we achieving it or not. So, we cannot be able to control because we don't have the plans. First we conduct the transaction, then we write it down. So it is just like a historical costing, no standard available to compare our actual performance with the planned performance. No idea of efficiency. In financial accounting, we cannot measure the efficiency of different resources which are used in the business. Example, labor, material. We cannot be able to measure the efficiency, how efficiently the business is utilizing the labor, utilizing the machinery, utilizing the, I mean, capital. So profit is not a measure of efficiency. Many a time what will happen? A business is inefficient, but still getting more profit. Another business is efficient, but getting less profit. So don't think that profit is a measure of efficiency because the profit we can get either internally or due to external factors also. Next is no aid to decision making, no aid, A-I-D, no aid to decision making, aid means help. Financial accounting will not be of much help to the management. Management requires information on day to day basis, but the financial accounting will provide the information only at the end of the year. So till that time management cannot wait. So it, uh, this financial accounting will not be of much help to the management for decision making. No classification of expenses. That means in a financial accounting, all expenses will be treated alike. But the dif there are differences in the behavior of the cost. The cost is not classified into direct cost, indirect cost or fixed cost or variable cost. Every cost will be treated same in financial accounting. 
That is a limitation. We have to classify. Then only we can be able to control the cost. Next, does not aid price fixation. One of the management job is to fix the price. The price will be fixed after ascertaining the cost. But we cannot wait in financial accounting till the end of the year to find out the cost. So <clears throat> this financial accounting will not be of much help to the management in fixing the selling price. Next, inadequate data for detailed reports. This financial accounting will give overall result of the business. The detailed report cannot be made from financial accounting, but the management and a number of users require detailed report. So these eight are the uh, limitations of financial accounting. Many limitations are there, but I have explained only eight limitations so that you can be able to remember and write in examination. Now, differences between financial accounting and cost accounting. Very frequently, it will be asked in examination this question. What are the differences between financial accounting and cost? Many differences are there. The, I mean, objective itself is different. Financial accounting is, ma is maintained mainly to ascertain the profit or loss at the end of the year and to find out the financial position at the end of the year. That's it. Whereas the objective of cost accounting is to ascertain the cost and to control the cost. So objective is entirely different. Apart from that, many, many differences are there. The first difference, financial accounting show the profit or loss made during the accounting period and financial position of the business. Whereas cost accounting provide the management detailed information regarding cost of each product. So first difference, the financial accounting is maintained in order to find out the profit or loss at the end of the year. Whereas cost accounting is maintained to find out the cost of production of each of the product or service provided. Then financial accounting is mainly concerned with periodical reporting of the results of the business. Periodically means the financial accounting will make the reports, will make the financial statements only at the end of the year. That means end of the year, it will close all the accounts. Huh. So financial accounting will prepare the reports at the end of the year. At the end of the year, all the accounts are closed. Profit and loss account is prepared to find out the profit. Balance sheet is prepared to find out the financial position only end of the year. But in cost accounting, the reports has to be prepared when, uh, as and when it is required by the management. So number of reports are required to be prepared by cost accountant and submitted to the management. In financial accounting, no attempt is made to record data regarding department, jobs, processes, etc. It will record the expenditure in total as a whole. It will not divide the expenditure according to product, according to department, according to process like that. All the costs will be clubbed together in whole, it will be calculated in financial accounting. Whereas in cost accounting, we segregate. We find out how much is the cost incurred for a particular product, how much cost for a particular department, division, or uh, like that separate, I mean, activity. Now, financial accounting is meant for historical reporting of cost accounting record, uh, records. In cost accounting, costs are estimated and predetermined. And one more difference is financial accounting will record the historical record of all the items. Whatever had happened in the past that will be recorded in financial accounting. Whereas in cost accounting, we are not only concerned with the past, but also we are concerned with the present and also we are concerned with the future. That means predetermined cost will also be calculated. What would be the cost in the next year? That will also be able to determine in cost accounting. Next one is financial accounting does not provide for control of material wages or its. There is no technique of controlling the cost in financial accounting. Whereas in cost accounting, we apply different techniques like budgetary control, standard costing and analysis of variance. So many techniques are there which we apply in cost accounting in order to control the cost of wages or material or OEMs. Now in financial accounting, uh, there is no system of laying down systematic standard of performance to judge the efficiency. There is no standard, there is no norm through which we can be able to judge the efficiency in financial accounting. 
there is in cost accounting so many techniques are there like standard costing is one of the technique which is applied in order to measure the efficiency of material used the efficiency of labor the efficiency of overheads so there is a systematic scientific method of measuring the performance now financial accounts are kept in such a way as to meet the statutory requirement see the financial accounting has to be kept following the provisions of law so in every country we have different laws of company law income tax act etc so these law has given the procedure how to maintain the accounts what are the provisions regarding maintenance of accounts everything is given by law for financial accounting but in case of cost accounting the accounting is meant for management purpose so more subjectivity is there different cost accountants will make different uh, i mean uh, recording methods different reports so it is more of subjective next is in financial accounting costs are recorded classified loss analysis in objective manner objective manner means following the principles so in uh, financial accounting almost all the accountants will follow the same procedure same method same technique so it is more objective method of recording the transactions in financial accounting whereas cost accounting it is more subjective it differs from person to person there are different methods to be followed in cost accounting according to the requirement of the management now financial accounting provides only monetary information one more difference only money items which are measured in terms of money will be recorded in financial accounting whereas in case of cost accounting we require we record even the units also we will not record only monetary but non monetary values will also be recorded example units units will also be taken into consideration in cost accounting last one financial accounting is highly technical subject and requires knowledge of accounting principles and accounting standards cost accounting is relatively flexible as it is meant for internal use the more rigidity is there in case of financial accounting because every financial accountant must follow the accounting concepts accounting principles accounting standards they are bound by the principles of accounting whereas in case of cost accounting more flexible because the reports are prepared for internal use of the management so these are the differences between financial accounting and cost accounting in this video i have explained you about the limitation of financial accounting and differences hope the points are much more clear you can confidently write an examination inshallah so we will start the next topic in the next video